Build Aid Media, powered by builders and supported by Mix 93.8 FM and SA Garden and Home, are proud to bring you this homeowner workshop series. Throughout this series, we will be showcasing a wide variety of industry specialists to ensure a positive building experience. In this episode, Hugh Stevenson from Lifestyle Shutters and Blinds discusses the difference between shutters and blinds and the different types available, as well as their benefits. Your host is Graham Alexander from Build Aid Media. We have Hugh Stevenson here from Lifestyle Shutters and, and Blinds. What's the difference between a shutter and a, and, a, and a blind? I think the easiest way to describe it is the fact that blinds go up and down and shutters will open to the left or the right uh, and have, have blades that uh, tilt and what have you, yeah. Then we, let's look at shutters first. Um, and understand how with the mechanism how they open and close and I think the bottom on the slide there we, we're looking at the bottom one particularly stands out because fold away doors have become so popular that you can fold away a shutter in front of that door yes uh, that's that's correct we call that a bifold or uh, some other that more common name is like concertina stacking where the sh uh, the shutters are uh, installed with a track system and you can slide them all to the left or slide them all to the right or half-half. Uh, we work with uh, what's happening in the outer door and we follow the same uh, direction so that uh, the two work simultaneously together. You have an interesting product um, outside that's not on my notes here, Hugh. And somebody actually showed it to me while I was out there. If you can change the top half that you can see through um, on a blind. Um, so the bottom half could be uh, not see through top half, depending on where you've positioned it. Yeah, that, that, that is uh, part of our honeycomb blind collection. And basically, it's two blinds in one. Uh, so you can lower it all the way to the bottom and have a shear. Uh, so you can have that light in, have privacy. At night time, you reverse it, and the bottom half of the blind is a, is a block out. So you can totally shut out whatever light. And, uh, and if you don't want anything at all, you can lift everything right up to the top. And um, so there is a display out there. I can show you later. Thanks. Just back to, back to shutters. It um, might sound like a silly question, but are shutters always on the inside? Because sometimes you think of a shutter as being on the outside of the building. Yeah, most of the shutters that I do are internal. They're uh, an aesthetic decision uh, as opposed to uh, in terms of window and door covering. Um, but obviously, uh, you can put them outside, uh, and we have an aluminium shutter, uh, which can be used internally and externally, which is a security product, um, and that, that can sit uh, either in or out, and I've also got a sample of that to show. And the next slide comes up that it is about security. So the obvious question is, how secure are, are these blinds? Well, uh, not, they, sorry, not blind, they, shutters. They, they, are, they are a security solution, there's no doubt about it. Uh, you can see in the picture there that uh, there's a lock system where there's uh, bolts go both up and down into uh, the top frame and bottom frame, frame um, uh, with a key. And you can also have a little mechanism that, that locks the blades as well. Uh, it is a security solution. Um, nothing, I don't think, is 110% secure but it does uh, pass all the tests and, and, uh, and it buys you time uh, as well, you know, uh, unfortunately, but uh, it's a great product, it's a great product. Just to understand that there's sort of two operations or two mechanisms in the shutter, it doesn't matter if it's fold away or sliding, but the shutter itself moves, but your, your um, the blades, louvers or blades Yeah, the blades move, uh, move uh, uh, independently, um, they obviously, um, we move all together and so it's a great thing you can tilt them in whichever angle you want 45 degree down 45 degree up totally flat to let in total amount of light or you can fold them back away from the windows and the doors it's it's a it's it's very useful and uh, it whatever suits your needs at that particular time types of blinds if we just have a look at the the common types i think a phoenician blinds probably been around um, forever. Hugh, can you get that in any finish, any size? Yeah, the Venetian, Venetians are, well, we, we have uh, uh, timber uh, Venetians, which everyone I'm sure will be aware of. They operate in the cord system. Uh, you can get the Venetian blind, which is the top right hand photograph. 
which is aluminium. Uh, and then, of course, we, you have roller blinds, which are fabric uh, blinds in a variety of different fabrics from shears right through to block art. Uh, and then we've got the honeycomb. So, um, yeah, it's a pretty much a, a full suitcase of, you know, we can just about do anything. Honeycomb can also add to the energy efficiency within, within a room. Because it's hollow, you, you, base, you basically got an, an air trap. Yeah, you can see the, the honeycomb uh, structure uh, on, in that picture. And uh, it, it, it's, it's fantastic for heat and uh, heat control uh, because the hot air or cold air in terms of the winter get totally trapped inside uh, the honeycomb cell. And um, there was a, a, a study done in America, uh, as you can see there, that uh, up to 37% saving in electricity. I, I've got to say, I've got them uh, in my bedroom at home. And uh, at this time of year, they're fantastic. It definitely, definitely makes a difference. Contemporary architecture um, is around a lot of glass. So you can, you can see your neighbor, you've spent millions on your home, it's beautiful, then the home goes up next to you and the one over the road, and then suddenly you need blinds or shutters. Can you use a combination of the two? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we do that often. Um, uh, and you know, some ho homes uh, will put shutters throughout, some will do partly shutters uh, and partly blinds, and some homes will do blind shutters and some soft drapes as well. So you can, you can yeah, really, it's, it, it's your home. And so you have to style it whichever the way you, you're comfortable in, in styling it. And, um, but shutters are great because uh, they do control light and they also uh, control uh, heat because when, um, when, when the blades are closed, like in the winter, the cold air gets trapped behind between your window and your door and, and the shutter itself. Uh, and, uh, and conversely, in the summer, if you off to work and it's a really hot summer's day, it's a good idea to close your shutters and blinds. Keeps the heat trapped, and then when you, get, you open up, open up the windows and doors, and then the hot air dissipates outside. The different finishes on, on your, your products, um, you, I, I suppose it's, it's endless with the different colors and so on. Yeah, uh, well, you can see a picture there. We've got uh, 50 different colors of standard colors of shutters. Uh, we will do uh, custom made color uh, as well. Um, and, but predominantly, I, I would think um, the, the, the number one selling uh, is, is a neutral, your whites and creams, and maybe the grays are very popular at the moment. But then you get the homes that, uh, that are more traditional, perhaps, and uh, they want the, the traditional wood colors. So yeah, we can do all of that. And we have um, different um, products for different areas of the home. Uh, you can see there a bathroom. We have a product which we call Artwood, which is a, uh, basically it's, it's, it's made from an unpronounceable thing, which I'm not going to stutter over. It's, it's ABS. Uh, but it's, 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 it's a very uh, tight, it's, it's, it's a form of plastic, but it's, it's, uh, it's totally waterproof. Uh, so you can put it in the shower cubicle if you want. Uh, and it looks identical to what you're doing in the other parts of the house. So you can't, you, you can put one panel here and one panel there, and you'll never tell the difference. The system is the system, and the aesthetics are the aesthetics. It's just horses for courses. Planning. This product also requires planning. Not only um, does Hughes Company have to make every, everything custom made because there's final measurements, final um, dimensions, but if you're in that planning phase and maybe you've only got a rectangle on a piece of paper but you've got shutters in your mind, when you get to the point that you have a drawing that's more sensible, get, get hold of lifestyle um, shutters and start talking about the different kinds and so on and say, right, that's in my budget. You might not know exactly then, maybe it's 50 grand or 100 grand or 200 grand. But as the drawings are completed, the architect now knows we need to get all the hue again, firm up on that budget, and we can have all these beautiful things in our home. Or the home's got to be a bit smaller, but the architect will know how to do that. Going into a project with a realistic budget is obviously also important. If one starts thinking about a home and going, I'm going to build that 10 million rand home, you may not know what it will cost, for 1 million, 
one obviously has to adjust as soon as possible because there's going to be some letdowns. Um, come in and look at your product, um, Hugh. Where, where could one do that? Um, well, we've got a showroom uh, just down the road in Danefern in Mulberry Hill uh, Office Park. It's directly behind the, the, uh, um, the shopping centre there. Uh, so we've got all the products displayed there. Uh, obviously our website, uh, lifestyleshutters.co.za, has got uh, all the relevant information. But going on to the planning, um, we can and often do work off plan. So we'll work with you and your architect to send us the plans. We can quote off plan right from day one. And I, I find that so important because then you as the client uh, understands exactly the costs involved and the timing required to do shutters. And then we can work with you as the project progresses and say, okay, well, I'll only do the shutters in the main bedroom and the lounge and the dining room, and then I can just do the, the maybe more cost-effective blinds and other areas of the house. And the great thing is that uh, our shutters and blinds, uh, are, they come from the same factory, so the color matching is absolutely identical. So we, but we'll work with you right through from day one right through to the finished project. We need sometimes to work planning uh, with the builder or the people that are doing the flooring because you may want to have your bottom track resourced into the ground and so on and so on. So we, we can work with you. The worst thing is to call us in at the end and say, well, this is a given thing. Um, and then we'll do, we'll do our level best, but it's much, much better to be in the ground level. Thanks. Thanks very much, Hugh. Thank you for joining us. If you would like to watch any more of the workshops in the Homeowner Series, follow the BuildAid YouTube channel or visit our website, buildaid.co.za, where you can find a full range of our product offering. To book your seat at our next workshop, visit caxtonevents.co.za. Don't forget to tune into Mix 93.8 FM Wednesday evenings from 6pm to 7pm to listen to the BuildAid Show.